Hi everybody, this is Ryan and lesson 17 of working with JavaScript. In this lesson we're going to teach you how to create how to bring up a random image on the page. So building on from one of the functions we learnt about in the previous lesson, the random function belonging to the rip to the math object. So we start with a HTML page, but this time we do not have a div tag, we have a paragraph with an image inside of it. So for this exercise you're going to need some images that you can work with, maybe 8 or 9 JPEG images. So go ahead and look for some images that you can use. Copy those images to the same folder where all your HTML documents are saved. Uh, I would recommend creating a subfolder for your pictures and then pasting those pictures in that subfolder. So I'll show you mine on my desktop. I have a couple of pictures right over there. Okay, so let's go and do some JavaScript coding. So we will link to lesson17.js. Oh, one important thing to note is the ID. We're giving this image an ID so that we can manipulate it using JavaScript. So I've just called it random pick. And I've also given it an SRC just in case JavaScript is not enabled on that person's browser for some reason at least they'll get one picture coming up on the screen even if it's not random so that's why I st start by putting one of my pictures as the default picture okay in terms of the JavaScript once the document is loaded we can then start manipulating the image so the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable for my picture so document dot get element by id random pick so remember get element by id is a method that belongs to the document object and it will go and search for any tag in the document with the id of random pick in this case that happens to be the entire image tag now I can't say that random pick or pick dot in a HTML because the image tag doesn't have a closing tag. So in this case what I want to do is manipulate the SRC attribute of the image. So I think what we'll need is a list of potential pictures before we start. So let me create um, an array of pictures and I'm going to put a list of all the pictures that I have. So I need to quickly go and look up all the pictures. So I have baby elephant jpeg. Obviously your pictures are going to be different. The more images you have, the more random it's going to be in the end. So the nice thing about an array is it's got a numerical index. Remember, the first element of the array is always zero. So if I could just generate a random number between zero and the length of the array, minus one, I could then display the random picture. So let's generate a random number so it will be math.random and I want a number between 0 because the array starts at 0 and the length of the array minus 1 so 
pictures dot length minus one. Now watch out for bod mass. Remember bod mass will do the multiplication first. So I'm gonna have to put brackets around that so that it makes sure it does the subtraction first. The reason why I'm subtracting one is because the array begins at zero. And I then have one less number of pictures in the array. So that should give me a number between Oh, I need to do a math dot floor to make it between zero and the number of items in the array. Right, and then all I need to do is manipulate the SRC property of the pick. Well, what is pick? Well, pick is an object. Remember, we created an object variable, and it looked for the ID of the image tag. So actually, pick represents the entire image tag. So if I say pick dot SRC, I'm actually manipulating this SRC property of the picture. So I need to bear in mind that all my pictures are sitting in my pick subdirectory and concatenate onto the end of that a picture from my pictures array. So I could put a number in here and bring up one of the pictures from my pictures array. So I'm going to substitute my random number in there so that I can get a random one of these pictures coming up on the screen. Right, let's test our code. Every time I refresh, I should land up with a random photograph. As I said before, the more pictures you have, the more random it's going to be. Now it seems like I'm not ever coming up with my blue butterfly, so let's maybe take out that minus one and see what happens. Because I'm the floor function is never going to get to that number, so I actually shouldn't have the minus one. Let's try again. Hopefully I should there we go, there's my blue butterfly. Right, so don't forget in this case we won't have the minus one. And there we have a JavaScript to display a random photo on the home page. Every time someone visits the website, they'll get a random image. So it's a nice to have feature that can just price up your home page a little bit. And that's the end of this lesson.